Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been super inconsistent with my fucking videos and shit, but like a bitch is depressed, so like, what you want me to fucking do? So like, y'all gonna get whatever the fuck you gonna get. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna be talking about what happened when I went to a Japanese hair salon to get my fucking hair done and shit. So I hope y'all enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, put on my notifications, all that stupid shit. So like, okay. <laughs> Alright y'all, so today I wanted to go over the situation that went down when I went over to a Japanese hair salon to get my hair did because they did me dirty. I don't even care, like, they did me dirty and I'm still mad about it. Like, it's really brought down my confidence and everything, like, I'm still kind of pressed and I just want to fight everybody up in there, okay? So, don't, and this is kind of like a disclaimer, like, don't come for me talking about, like, oh, if you already knew from the, like, the, from the beginning, like, if you already knew from the jump, why would you go over there? Like, girl, shut up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about one way now when I went over to the salon with the other model to get my hair done. So, what happened was, they set up an appointment, and I didn't have to pay for nothing, so don't be like, oh, you scammed yourself, you played yourself, talking about, like, oh, why would you pay for that? Like, girl, I didn't pay nothing. This didn't come out of my pocket, so don't even come for me, you know? Like, don't come for me. So what happened was I went into the salon, and I felt, like, an immediate hostility towards my hair. Like, I already came in, my hair was washed, I washed it, and I kind of detangled it. What the fuck was that? So, like, I kind of detangled it. I came in ready because I gave them the courtesy of like doing it beforehand because I know that they wouldn't even be able to begin doing my hair. So what happened was I got sat down in a chair and old dude came up with a small thin ass comb and I knew I was like oh he didn't know nothing about my hair huh. So he came in with like a 99 cent comb and got a whole he like it was like this amount of hair and he just he started from up here and he just went Ugh and it didn't move and I like I laughed to myself I was just like nice try honey like it ain't gonna go like that so he went ahead and he was like oh and then he stopped he put the comb down and he just got my whole hair he was just playing with it he was touching it he was just going through it he was doing this for solid like 10 15 minutes <laughs> So what he did was he got the they got like a piece of it in the back and he wrapped it up in the back and he tried to tangle in the top part first and I was just like oh no honey this ain't gonna work this ain't gonna work honey and then all the girls that were working in the salon they came and like they circled around them they're like oh this is interesting and, like they treat me like a dog they kept touching my hair touching me and I was just like oh my god I'm like a fucking zoo animal up in this bitch huh like. Should I start mooing? Should I start making like fucking lion sounds or some shit? Like, oh my god. So like, what happened was, afterwards he started putting like a spray bottle and like wetting my hair and shit. And I was just like, okay, we getting somewhere. Like finally he had like something in his brain tell him that maybe we need to wet the hair first. So he started wetting it. And then he started playing with it even more. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, why don't you start detangling and brushing it or something? But he just kept fucking playing with it. And then finally he brought out a fucking blow dryer. And I was like, nope. Nope. That's not what we finna do today. We're not fucking using heat on my hair. We're not putting any type of heat on my fucking scalp. Don't fucking come for my scalp. I was like, no. Hell no. Nope. Put that shit down. For I fucking, oh my god. So he put it down. He was like, well, I don't know what to do. So he was like, well, how do you want it done? And I was like. You the fucking stylist, like, bitch, you, didn't you go to school for this shit? Like, obviously, he didn't have any fucking experience to do with, like, my type of hair. And, like, obviously, there's no type of fucking hair like mine in Japan. So, but I still think that, like, if you can't do my type of hair, you shouldn't be called a stylist. Like, that's just my personal opinion. Like, and my hair, while it's difficult to do, it's not impossible to do. So, I'm not, like, an inconvenience or something, like coming in there expecting the best but like still like you should know like the bare minimum like the basics i shouldn't have to come in with my products and shit um well, let's still hear about that thing. so while they were doing like the other models hair they were curling it and making it all nice like you know 
how they got like all that style and the design and the bun and shit and like all those flowers and shit i was just sitting there like oh my god like i already knew i was gonna be like a second class type bitch like usual for these type of situations so like i sat down and then we were supposed to be getting our makeup done and then they had all this makeup stuff set up and they were like oh you're gonna do it by yourself and i was just like girl i guess like <laughs> So I went ahead and I looked at what they got and like, of course, all their shit was like fucking, it was shade vanilla, it was shade mayonnaise, it was shade sour cream, they ain't got no type of cocoa, ain't nothing, like they ain't got no type of caramel, no type of shade like that, like all they got was fucking porcelain, you know, all those dainty fucking colors, so. But they had eyeshadows and shit, so I started playing off the eyeshadows, and they had, like, no pigment, no nothing. They ain't got no false lashes, like, nothing, like, set up. And I was just like, bitch, they want me looking busted up in this motherfucker, don't they? So, I did the best I could. I look fucking busted. Like, I look fucking, oh, my God. It was gross. And, like, so all I had really to work with was just eyeshadows that were, like, not pigmenting like you know like your very first eyeshadow set that your mom would get you from like toys r us or some shit and it only had like five shades like it was that type of shit and like i had to like fucking beat the shit out of my face or something like just to get some fucking color on there it wouldn't pop up on my fucking skin i was getting mad so at this point i was already heated my makeup was done my hair looked exactly the fucking same as when I came in, except it was more tangled in the back, and it was like, it, it was like a whole fucking bump it in the fucking back of my hair. It just looked like someone died and like fucking shoved it into my scalp. So, they were like, okay, we're gonna try something different, we're gonna try to put it up. And I was just like, okay, y'all know how to do a basic bun? They didn't know how to do a basic bun with my fucking hair. So I was just like, uh. first day out here like what the fuck so like they tried everything for like another 30 minutes they finally fucking put a bump it style up my bangs and then they put it up it was all frizzy and fucked up at this point like my shit was dead my shit was fucking gross and i was mad but i was just like fuck it i'm gonna just fucking put on this kimono and fucking get the fuck out of here so like i got my hair I'll show you some pictures at the end. Like, my hair was fucked. It was a joke. <laughs> and then we put on the kimono at this point. I was tired. You could see my bags. I was drained. I was pissed. And I was just ready to go home. I was mad. And yeah. So that's basically what happened when I fucking got my hair done in the fucking salon. They didn't know what the fuck they was doing. They didn't know nothing about nigga hair. Like, they were like, ooh, this Negro coming in here thinking that we're gonna do our hair or some shit like i was scammed <laughs> i'm still pressed